what I thought was interesting, Matt, uh, is that, you know, right now we're seeing all sorts of craziness with everybody, you know, trying to flee. Um, but this is a lot of people don't realize this is not the first time we've done this. And in fact, the L.A. Times headline was almost exactly the same last week as it was uh, in 1957 when we did this exact same thing. Um, I jokingly called that the coup de pack uh, because we, we got sick of issues with sharing revenue with the Northwest schools. And also there was a lot of like rampant cheating, particularly with UCLA and, and a lot of conflict with the conference being run by the Northwest schools. And UCLA and Cal and USC got sick of it. And they literally overthrew the conference and imploded it. Uh, a lot of it had to do with the crazy Ronnie Knox mess from back then. But we literally did exactly the same thing. And then uh, about a month later, Washington joined us. Oh, it's skipping. And, and that just floored the Northwest. Uh, and that did the conference in. And, and just then, to be for, clear, just to be clear for people watching here on the Voice of College Football, this is about the dissolution of the Pacific Coast Conference and the formation of the AAWU, which became the Pac-12. One one of the big things that is a huge mistake. So once everybody kind of made nice again in 1964, we pretended that that decade never happened, and and they pretend. If you read the Pac-12's history, it doesn't really make a lot of sense. It seems nonlinear because it's not. There is no relationship really between the Pacific Coast Conference and today's Pac-12. It ended like, like the Russian Revolution style ended, sort of like the Romanov dynasty ended in 1957. Um, and then it was going to be the big four because Stanford didn't really want to join until a meeting in 1959, literally nine days before the new conference was opening. And, and they agreed, Stanford agreed to join but only on condition that UCLA was not allowed to vote. And so UCLA until 19, from 1959 to 1964 was not allowed to vote in the conference. They were considered an offshoot of Cal again, and only the president of the University of California could vote. And then they were still so mad at Oregon that when Oregon came back, uh, the deal was UCLA got their vote back. And for, since then the chancellors have been in charge. And as you guys may have seen uh, in the news e even today, Athletics are a chancellor issue at UCLA and Cal. They are not a uh, president or regent level issue. So yeah. you're, you're going to see, I think, some issues with that right now. Um, so, one, so, Tony, so one, before, yeah. well, before you continue, how do you think this affects the July 21st uh, UC Board of Regents meeting? What do you think is going to go on at that meeting? A lot of people certainly want to know. Um, it's a closed meeting to talk to the lawyers. So it's probably just reviewing the typical type of legal things that, that normally, if this wasn't such a big secret, you probably would have just done beforehand. You know, they, they, the regions have to have a discussion about it, but it's not going to change anything. Yeah. So you don't expect any kind of plot twists or fireworks at this meeting. No, although I'll tell you, it would not surprise me. And, and we, we can get into this in just a sec. Um, one thing that would not surprise me, actually, here, we'll put this, this slide up as an example, is if somehow Stanford and Cal ended up in it with us. Um, the, the Big Ten Athletic, uh, the Big Ten Academic Alliance integrates things like research, integrates you know, leadership development, integrates all purchasing across the universities, IT, cybersecurity, all these academic things that matter more to presidents and chancellors than, than it does than athletics, quite honestly. And if you said to the chancellors at Wisconsin and Indiana and Iowa last year, hey, would you forego $3 million a year in revenue uh, to be able to be completely integrated into Stanford and Cal? I think most of them would write a check. And so, I, and I know this is an unpopular thing. They'll lambaste me in the comments for saying this, but do not be surprised if Stanford and Cal end up at this party before it's over, maybe even just like Stanford did last time, nine days before it opens. 